Welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to be covering the most important fit to fly rules when it comes to the AKT. You'll undoubtedly come across fit to fly in your career, with patients asking you for advice as to when the suitable or not suitable to fly after a medical intervention. So we've covered the most salient points today, knowing that you're bound to be asked this in your exam. So without further ado, here's a summarised fit to fly guidance. Let's start with cardiovascular disease. If you've got unstable angina, uncontrolled CCF or severe valvular disease, you're advised not to fly. If you've had a myocardial infarction, after 7-10 to 10 days if it's uncomplicated, you can fly. Otherwise, if it's complicated, it's 4-6 to six weeks. If you've had a cabbage, it's 10-14 to 14 days. And if you've had a PCI, it's 3 days. What about respiratory disease? If you've had a pneumothorax, it's an absolute contraindication to fly. However, you can fly two weeks after successful drainage if there's no residual air. The British Thoracic Society also recommend avoid flying until one week post a check x-ray. What about pregnancy? You advise not to fly if after 36 weeks if it's a single pregnancy and there's definitely no flying after 32 weeks if multiple pregnancy. Many airlines, however, ask for a fit to fly certificate from the GP. What about surgery? Major surgeries, such as large abdominal surgeries, you'd need 10 days before you can fly. But less invasive surgeries, such as laparoscopies or colonoscopies, you'd only need to wait 24 hours. And if you've been in a plaster cast, you'd need to wait 24 hours if the flight is less than 2 hours, or 48 hours if the flight is more than 2 hours. Well, that's that. That's us covering the most important fit-to-fly restrictions when it comes to the AKT. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe and comment below. And if you have any requests for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, go ahead and check out www.dorkydocs.com for more revision content and our Instagram page, at dorky underscore docs, for loads of revision content. But otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.